Hey guys. How are you guys? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Hello, Adrian. How are you, man? How's everything? So far, so good, teacher. So far, so Thanks good. God. Great. Right. How was your weekend? Um, was was normal, man. I was with my with my mother. She was a little sick, but thank God she's better now. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm glad to hear that, man. W what did she come down with? COVID nineteen. Wow. Okay. All right, and she's all well now. Thanks God, she's better now. Great. That that's great, man. I'm really glad. You know, um, it's it's uh, you know, it's not so dangerous for some people, but it is dangerous, man. I I've, I've seen like you know. Yes, it better. Real it's better when, when we are vaccinated, right? Yes, yes. Uh, you know, being vaccinated is the best way to go right now, I guess. You know. So, right. That's great. Anyways, uh, I'm really glad to have you here, man. Okay, you, man. and um, let's see, Marcos, how was your weekend? Hello, good evening. Um, it was kind of hard. I, I had to work. <laughs> All right. So, where, what is it that? Yes. Uh, where, where do you work at? In La Constancia. Nice. nice yes. Nice. Hey guys, did you notice? Um, well, of course you noticed. WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram wasn't working today, huh? Yes. That's crazy, man. I, I actually didn't even long, notice. Right? I actually didn't even notice because I was working, man. So I Hello. was. Yes, I was working, so I didn't have time to check WhatsApp or Facebook. So you can use I, your cell phone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, no, I, I do have permission to use my cell phone. I can use my cell phone, of course. It's, it's just, you know, I, I, I was, I was like really focused on what I was doing because it's been a really long day, man. Really long day, you know. <coughs> what about you, Nori? How was your day? Hi. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Everything I'm well? okay. Thank you. All right. Great. What about you, teacher? It's been great, you know. Thanks for asking. Anyways, guys, let's get started. Uh, uh, Francisco, welcome. Ingrid, Oscar, nice to see you guys. Thank you for being here early. All right. So mm -hmm. today, guys, we are going to talk about gerunds, right? Now, this one, guys, is a very interesting topic, guys, because, all right, first of all, guys, what's a gerund? Ingrid, nice to see you, Ingrid. Welcome back. <laughs> so, um, anyways, what, what's a gerund, guys? It's the ANG. <clears throat> All right. Yes, Francisco. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ingrid. Uh, yes, Francisco. Tell me. A gerund is a, in the ING form uh, of a verb. Uh, maybe you can use it as a noun uh, or in, for example, uh, <clears throat> swimming is like the action that you do while you are in the pool, maybe. Okay. So if I said I saw you running yesterday, would running be a gerund? Is that it? What do you think, guys? Would that be uh, would that be a gerund? I think yes. Uh, okay, all right. We'll see, guys. We'll see. Okay, you guys tell me. All right. All right. Anyways, okay. So that's what we're gonna talk about today, guys. All right, because there is a difference, guys, between a gerund and a present participle. Do you remember what a present participle is? Ing. No. So yeah, it's ing. So are they both the same? No. No. All right. Exactly. All right. So that's what we're gonna see today, guys. All right. So who'd like to help me read the objectives?
to learn how to use of gerund and subjects and object of a sentence. All right. So we're going to learn how to use gerunds um, as, okay, th this is misspelled, guys. I right, should say as subjects and objects of sentences, okay? Hold on, let me change this, guys. To learn how to use, uh, how to use yes. gerunds as subjects and objects of sentences, okay? All right, anyways. All right, so we're gonna go over, you know, what gerunds are as subjects and uh, as objects as well. And we're gonna have some practice at the end, right? So let's get started. So what's a gerund? Let's see, Ricardo, would you please help me read? Okay. The gerund looks exactly the same as a present participle, but is it is useful to understand the difference between the two. The gerund always has the same function as a noun, although it looks like a verb. Some use of the gerund, gerund uh, are converted on this page. A separate page deals with verbs that are followed by the gerund. All right, good job. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay. Some uses, repeat uses. Uses. All right, uses and gerund. Gerund. All right, very good. Mm. All right, thank you, Ricardo. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, you. Thank you. So, so guys, all right? So, a gerund looks exactly the same as a present participle, right? But there is difference between them two, okay? Gerunds and infinitives, guys, by the way, can be used as nouns, right? While uh, present participle is used as an adjective most of the times, okay? All right, but without taking that, in, that into consideration, get into consideration, guys, because you know, we're, we're gonna get more confused if we focus on that. All right, let me give you an example. If I say, guys, uh, if I say run, okay? So we have two ways we can go about running, right? We can say, uh, what would be the gerund of run? Running. Running. Okay. Running. <clears throat> well, okay, so this is, all right, let's say that's a gerund. And what would be the past participle form? The same. Run. Run. The past participle. Was it running? All right, no, just run, right? Okay. What about the present participle? Oh, that's running, right? Yes, the present participle would be, oh my God, my camera is not working anymore. All right, so uh, the present participle, guys, would be running, right? So this would be a present, sorry. Right, so this will be a present participle. All right, now let me ask you something. So how do you know which one is which? How do you know, hey, you know, David, all right, I think this is a present participle and I think this is a, a gerund. So how do you know the difference between them two? Um. Uh, I don't know. The time in the action. <laughs> the time in the action. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Let me bring out the whiteboard, guys, so we can take a look. Maybe maybe the gerund can can be act like a like a noun. Exactly. Well, that's actually pretty good, David. Okay. All right, so that, thank you, David. All right, that was very insightful. So a gerund, guys, I can say, for example, you know, running is dangerous. Because guys, you know, in grammar, 
the function of a word depends on its position within the sentence, okay? Or, or the meaning, you know? So for example, guys, which is the subject of the sentence here? What would you consider? Running. The subject, Running. exactly, right? So the subject of the sentence, guys, here, that would be running, see? This is the subject of the sentence. Now, a subject, guys, okay? If this is a subject, all right? Remember, what type of subjects do we have? What are the only two types? What what can be a subject, guys? A noun. Okay, it could be a noun or? Pronoun. Um, or a pronoun, object. right? Okay. Very good, guys. Okay, so a subject can be a noun or a pronoun. All right? So this means, guys, that this is working as a what? As a noun or as a pronoun? Noun. All right. Pronoun. This, is, this is working as a noun, guys. No, no, no. Never as a pronoun, guys, because a pronoun, pronouns, guys, are predetermined. Okay, so they are already established. Okay, so this is working as a noun, guys. Okay, so this is like instead of running, guys, you can say. You can say what? You can say Cheyenne, right? Yes. All right. So you can say Cheyenne is dangerous. See? Because as long if it works as a subject, guys, that means that you can substitute it with a subject. Okay? Does that make sense, guys? Now, is yes. it, if, it's, if it's not working, guys, as a, you know, if it is not working as a noun, then it is a present participle. All right? And that's the difference. Okay? Present participle all right so now if i say guys uh i saw i saw steve running yesterday now let me ask you something where where do you see the the gerund here there's no running it is not running guys but why not? Because that's like a verb. Because, okay, this is not acting as a noun, okay? This is acting as a verb, as an action verb, okay? As a continuous verb, all right? All right, so these guys right here, okay? This is not acting as a subject. This is not acting as the object, as the object of the sentence. This is action acting as a continuous form of the verb. Got it? So because, think about it. Can I say, I saw Steve Chayanning or Chayan, right? Chayan yesterday. Can I say this, guys? I saw Steve Chayan yesterday. No. Pretending this is a, right, we can't, okay? Because running, guys, is reflecting, you know, the continuous action. Is that, is that clear, guys? All right. So it depends, right? So so both of them, right? They, both of them, it could be a, it could be, it could be a gerund or it could be a present participle, but it depends, right? It depends on um, the position, you know, of the position in the sentence, okay? All right, very good. We're gonna see more examples on that, guys, okay? So that was just uh, FYI. Now, do my favor, guys. Send me an example, right? Uh, actually, send me you guys five examples each in the chat, right? Send me one example, guys. I want you to start, guys, with a gerund, okay? So you're gonna follow the structure that I just showed you, all right? So for example, you know, running, right? Running, I got it. running is dangerous, right? So that was my example, okay? So what else do you think is dangerous? All right, send me five examples, guys. So what do you think is fun, okay? So you can say, you know, what do you think is dangerous, okay? Or, or you can say, you know, what do you think, or what do you consider to be fun, you know? All right, so you can say here, you know, um, I don't know, dancing, you know, dancing is fun. You can say this, all right? 
All right, let's go, guys. Five examples each, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Driving fast is dineros. Dineros, Rafael? Or dangerous? All right. Dangerous, sorry. All right, that's okay. All right, what else, what else? Cooking is easy. All right, if you say so, Maria. <laughs> if you say so. I, I think cooking is easy, but waiting is not. And that's what I don't, what I don't like about cooking. I hate waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, all right. Reading is fun. When you have a good book, eating pizza is delicious. Cooking is easy. Chatting is dangerous. When you are in a gas station, good job. Riding a bicycle is the coolest exercise. Good job. Swimming is good for your heart. Okay, good job, Monica. Uh, dancing is funny. Hmm. Dancing is fun. Guys, what is the difference between fun and funny? Are they the same? Funny is for person. Funny is what? It's for person. Funny is a, an adjective. Adjective or, and fun is a verb. Hmm. No. So I cannot say, hey, you are fun. I can't say that. Yes. I mean, if it is an adjective, you know, you're saying, you're saying, guys, that funny, right, is an adjective, right? Which you're right. So this fun, okay, is not an adjective? No, it is too. Are you sure it's not an adjective? If it is not an adjective, guys, I cannot say, you know, she is fun. I cannot say this? Yes. But it's, I think it's like a... Uh, one time and fun is like she is always fun okay all right guys yes all right fun can be an adjective okay you can say she is fun and you can say she is funny too but they are not the same they do not mean the same okay this means you know that she, for example, you go to the, you know, you know, you like talking to her because she's like super entertaining. Okay. This is like a synonym for, hold on guys, my camera. All right. So this is like a synonym guys for someone entertaining. Okay. All right. This is like entertaining. And this guys is like saying, you know, uh, that she makes you laugh. Got it. That is the difference, guys. If somebody is fun, guys, doesn't mean that, you know, that person makes you laugh. Got it? All right. Very good, guys. So, anyways. So, keep sending me the examples, guys. Remember, five examples. All right? Five, guys. Not one. Five. Cinco. All right? Cinco ejemplos, guys. Okay? Dancing is funny, right? And that's me spelled patty. All right. Uh, David playing soccer is fun down the rain you mean under the rain reading is important for learning okay playing video games is fun very good swimming on the ocean in the ocean not on you swim in the ocean is dangerous adrian very good uh riding bicycle riding bicycles is dangerous in in a mountain okay very good. Uh, riding bicycles is dangerous in um, in a mountain. Okay. All right. Uh, very good. That will be on a mountain, by the way. If that running is important for me, Nori using the high heels is dangerous. Okay. Is it really? All right. Uh, let's see. Charlene is important for the economy. Eating expired, expired. <laughs> That's misspelled. 
Ernesto swimming in, in the pool is fun. Listening to music is relaxing. Going to the movies is funny. It proposes a family tradition. All right, very good. Expirated doesn't exist either, David. Look it up on Google. Right, the word is expired. Okay. All right, very good, guys. So take take a nap. No, not take a nap. Taking a nap. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay, so let's move on. All right, good examples, guys. So take a look at this, guys. This is what you've been sending me. Okay. So you can use you can use a gerund as a, as the subject of the sentence. Why? Who can explain why, guys, with these examples? Who'd like to help me? Who'd like to help me read? Let's go. Go ahead, Rafa. Eating people is wrong. Okay. So explain to the class this. Is this a gerund or is this a present participle? Gerund. Why? Why? Who can help him, guys? If you don't know why, that's okay, right? But why is that a gerund, guys? Because it's uh, action. The eating people is the action. Mm, that's not the exact reason why that's a gerund, though. But uh, remember, guys, all gerunds work as what? As a noun. Okay. Now. Okay, so it is working as a noun. Okay, the reason why this is a gerund, guys. All right, el motivo por el cual esto es un gerundio es porque está funcionando como un sustantivo. Got it? All right, and that that noun is working as the object of the sentence, okay? As a, as a subject, I'm sorry, right? Este es sujeto, guys. Si, porque si vos lo sustituís, vos puedes decir, you know, um, you can substitute that with, with another noun, you know, and it would still make sense, right? Although in this case, you know, eating people, the whole thing, you know, this is the subject. You know, eating people is the subject here, right? Although this is a noun, right? We have a noun here, and we have another noun here, all right? But these two guys right here, this is working as the whole subject, okay? Because if you substitute eating people, you can say, Chayan, see? Guys, si vos puedes, puedes sustituir algo con Chayan, Eso significa que es un noun. Got it? Got it? Okay. Yeah. All right. So what's the secret, guys? The secret is thinking about Cheyenne. Chan. Right? Exactly, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. So, all right. So, uh, Monica. All right, Monica. Let's explain number two, Monica. Okay. Hunting tigers is dangerous. Okay. Hunting tigers it's okay. dangerous. Okay. It's dangerous. Okay. Go ahead. Explain it. Um, hunting tigers is the noun. Okay. I think because it's the it's a German. Because and I think in Chayanne. Chayanne, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. You got it. Okay. You got it. Okay. So this is a subject, right? Okay. Subject. And the German this hunting, right? This is Chayang. <laughs> Chayang. Hunting is <laughs> hunting guys is the is the gerund, right? Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. All right. All right. Uh who'd like to explain number three, guys? Flying makes me nervous. Who'd like to explain that one? Go ahead. All right, Francisco, let's go, Frank. Flying makes me nervous because maybe you are afraid of the height. Uh, no, I want you to explain, okay. Well, I want you to explain to us why is this a journey? Okay, it's a journey. Because it's the name, it's a noun, sorry. It's, uh, in, it's, it's in a sentence, like, uh, 
uh -huh. uh, gra gra grammatically, uh, grammatically, uh, sorry, uh, grammarly is uh, is correct. The noun, the the noun implying, and the verb makes me nervous is complete. Okay, guys, all right, just it's just because it's working as a subject of the sentence, okay, all right, or as a noun. Okay, that's that's the reason why. Thank you, uh, thank you, Francisco. All right, very good. So brushing your teeth is important, all right? That's working again, guys. As a subject of the sentence, why, guys? I mean, as a, as a gerund, why? Brushing. Because be brushing. By a noun. Very good. Okay, because if you substitute brushing your teeth with Cheyenne, right? It makes sense, guys. Cheyenne is important. See. Brushing your teeth is important, see? All right, very good. Uh, smoking, right, smoking causes lung cancer. All right, all right, so Patty Rodriguez, explain to us why is this a gerund? The smoking is the gerund because it's the subject in the sentence. Yes, there. it is a gerund, yes. yes. Yes, it is, okay, it is a gerund, right? Because this is the subject, right? Mm -hmm. Because you can say, you can say what, guys? The noun. You can say Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne, oh. All right, Cheyenne. So Cheyenne causes lung cancer, right? Cheyenne, that cancer the pulmon, got it? See? Just like in real life, right? Cancer de oído, no, I'm kidding, guys, right, Cheyenne's good. <laughs> All right, got it, guys? All right, that would be Maluma, right? Sorry, guys, if you like Maluma. Very good. Okay, guys, so is that clear, guys? Are you ready to take a 100 question test? Están listos para tomar un test de 100 preguntas, si se cae su 10. Yes. Soy yet. All right, we're going to get to practice, guys, okay? Don't worry. All right, guys, so, anyways, so now, one thing to remember, guys, that nouns, that both nouns and pronouns can work as what who can give me this answer guys subject subject yeah okay subject and yeah. Yeah. subjects and objects guys okay all right so this is something that you need to remember, all right? Nouns and pronouns can work as subjects and objects, okay? All right, <clears throat> now, what is a subject, guys? I mean, what, what is the difference between a subject and an object? So what's the difference between a subject and an object? So who can answer this question? What is the difference between a subject and an object, guys? Mm -hmm. All right, give me an example, guys, okay? If you don't know how to answer that, give me an example and we'll figure it out together. Nobody? It can be the subject is who do the action and object is the action. Okay, so the difference, guys, is I'll give you two examples, okay? I can say, uh, she is nice, right? Very simple, right? You know which one, you know which is the subject here, right? She. She. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. And so why do we know that this is, that she's the subject? Why? Why is she the subject, guys? We are talking about uh, she. All right, guys, in, in English, okay, again, I repeat, guys, it's not the word. It's the, the reason why, is la razón por la que una palabra es un adjetivo o un verbo o lo que sea, guys, es por la función que tiene, no por la palabra misma. Got it? All right. Very good. If you know, if, 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 if and this works in any language, guys, okay, this is in any language. 
not only not only in English, okay? See what this is. Estoy. No sé. Dame dame rai, right? Like the, the word rai doesn't exist in Spanish, right? But we know what that means, right? If I say you know dame rai, right? You know that rai is working as an noun, but you know rai is not a word in Spanish, right? But why 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 is that a noun? Okay, All right? Why is that a noun? It's like saying give me coffee, right? Dame café. So it's substituting a noun. Funciona como rayon que no exista, guys. Right? Está funcionando como un noun because of the function it is um, it is executing, right? Por el tipo de función que está ejecutando. Okay? So now, check this out. When I say, guys, she is nice, all right? What function, what is the function of this, of this word? All right? What is the function of this word? ¿Cuál es la función de esta palabra, guys? Who can, who can answer that question? If it's, she's nice. Could be the subject. Yeah, she's the, yeah, why, why? What makes something a subject? ¿Qué es lo que hace algún sujeto? Make an action. Okay, right, you're close, okay? Because it is the one performing the action, okay? Es quien hace la acción, guys, okay? Eso es la definición de un sujeto, all right? Is whatever performs an action, okay? All right, very good. Now, guys, if I said, all right, let's let's come up with another example here. If I say, you know, she gave the she actually she gifted me the ball. Check this out, right? So we have another example here. So of course we know that this is the subject, right? Now, where is this? Where is the object of the sentence here? Give me the ball. What do you think, guys? Which is the the object? The ball. The, the ball. Is it the ball or is it me? The ball. Oh. All right. Are you sure it's the ball or me, guys? What is the definition of a subject, uh, of an object? I'm sorry. It's who received the action. Okay. It is who or what, right? Who or what receives the action? So in that case, guys, you're answering your own questions. Está respondiendo su propia pregunta. So which is the, uh, the, 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 the object here, guys? The ball? I mean, it could be the ball. I'm not saying it's not. But what do you think? Yes, the ball. For all the right. Ball. Very good. All right. Do we all agree it's the ball, guys? Oh, no. All right. Why not, Ingrid? Because in the sentence, mm -hmm. me or Osa. Uh, me is um, the person who receives the, the action of she give to me the ball, give me. So in this sentences, me is a object, I think. All right, great. Guys, the object, guys, doesn't mean a real object, okay? When we say object, guys, we're not talking about a physical object, all right? Cuando decimos objeto de una oración, guys, no nos referimos a un objeto de verdad. Right? No te estoy diciendo que es un lápiz. Got it? Right? Well, let's take a look at the examples that we got here so we can understand that part, okay? All right. <clears throat> Do me a favor, guys. Everybody write down this structure in your notebook. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Have you written down in your notebook, guys? All right, is it ready? All right, very good guys. 
So, all right. So, so, so for you to understand this, guys, okay. Pretend, uh, think about this sentence, okay. I'm gonna write down a sentence here. Think about this sentence down here, okay. So, if I say, guys, the students. All right, let's let's go with this, okay. The students eat cake, right? So, in the previous example, guys, we actually had two objects, okay? Now, here, we know that the students, this is the subject, right? And which one is the, the object here, guys? Eat cake. It, no, it's, it's, it it's, cake. it's a verb, okay? No, this is a cake. verb, okay? Cake, cake guys, okay? Remember, cake. an object can only be a noun or a pronoun, okay? The students eat cake, okay? So this is the performing the action, and what are they eating, guys? Or what, what is the, like, who is receiving the action in this case? Or what is receiving the action? The object, got it? Okay. Okay, the cake. The cake is receiving the action of being eaten, okay? El cake, guys, el pastel está recibiendo la acción de, de los estudiantes comiéndolo, got it? Right, it's the receiver of the action. So same here, guys, okay? Can you identify the subject here? Pueden identificar el sujeto aquí, guys. Look, look. Look. Look, okay. Look is the subject, okay? Very good. So if this is a subject, which one is the object? Video games. Play and video games. What do you think, guys? Play. Playing. Video games is the verb, right? Uh, yes, no, but like, on, like but it, is the verb. Is, is this a gerund or is this a is this a present participle? Gerund. 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 It's a gerund because this is like saying, you know, looks like we can substitute playing video games, guys, can be substituted with <laughs> with what guys? With Cheyenne, right? So you can say look like Cheyenne, see? So playing video games, guys, okay, works as the whole object of the sentence, right? But it starts with a gerund, guys, okay? So, look, like playing video games, this is the whole object of the sentence, all right? Because it starts with a gerund, okay, this is this is the object. I mean, th this is this is a gerund, right? It's acting as a subject, I mean, as, a, as an object, okay? Take a look at this example, right? Which one is the subject and which one is the object here? The subject is I and the object yeah. Is packing suitcase. Packing suitcases. Repeat, guys. Packing Pack suitcases. Packing suitcases. Packing suitcases. Suitcases. Okay. Very good. All right. So here, because this is the introduction to to uh to an object, this is working as a gerund. Okay. Porque esta es la introducción, guys, a un a un objeto de la oración. All right. It's working as a gerund. Guys, again, I repeat. This could be, guys, instead of video games, you know. You could say, you know, it looks like playing, I don't know, with, or, you know, playing, um, playing uh, emotions, okay? El, un objeto no, se, no significa un objeto en la vida real, guys, okay? Una persona puede ser un objeto. Mientras sea un sustantivo o un o una, a pronoun, all right, that is an object, all right? That can be an object, okay? All right, let's take a look at this example. Um, let's see, Francisco, help us read this example. My favorite thing to do is reading horror books. All right. So my favorite thing to do is reading horror books. Okay. Very good. So here, guys, again. Right. Now, I'm not going to substitute this with Cheyenne, guys, because that would sound really weird. Okay. But um, you could substitute it with it, and it would make sense. Got it? All right. So reading is being the introduction, guys, to the whole object, all right? He loves telling the story. I enjoy working. He, we hate cleaning. I mean, we hate cleaning the house. They love listening to pop music, okay? If you notice, guys, what is one thing that they all have in common, aside from the ING form? What is one thing that they have in common, guys? ING? Uh, it goes after the verb 
they go, guys, after a verb. And not any verb, guys, certain verbs, okay? These guys are called stative, right, verbs, okay? Because they represent, guys, they represent a state of being, right? Represent un estado de, de, de ser, okay? Because if you say like, guys, like is not an action verb, no es un verbo de acción, right? ¿Cómo a representar like? ¿Cuál es el movimiento de like? Right? How would you represent that? You can't, right? It's just a state, all right? So guys, with these verbs, okay, they're gonna be followed by gerunds, okay? Esto verbo van a ser seguido por gerunds, guys, when you say them, okay? In some cases, you can use a gerund or you can use an infinitive, okay? But, um, but let's go with gerunds on these ones, okay? Any questions so far, guys? Yeah, it is well used if I say look like to play. And, the, and this one, guys, okay, this one is that that is an auxiliary verb, guys, okay? I'm sorry, what was your question? If I say look likes to play video games, it's well said, or yeah, I yeah, that, only that, can that, use play? No, that, that is correct. With certain verbs, you can use both. You can you say, you, you can say, you know, look likes to play, right? Which in this case, guys, this would be this would be an infinitive, okay? This will be called an infinitive, okay? All right, eso llamamos un infinitivo, got it? It's the word to plus the verb, okay? That is an infinitive. Now, but this doesn't work with all verbs, okay? Uh, there is, gerunds and infinitive, guys, is a really big topic, okay? What you have to understand right now, okay? Um, these verbs, certain verbs, guys, all right? are only used with gerunds but these verbs okay this one you this one yes likes can be used with an infinitive um, i hate to pack suitcases this can also be used with an infinitive uh, my favorite thing to do is reading okay the, obviously guys this is not in the same category right but you can say is to read horror books okay so you can you can use this one too he loves or he loves to tell he loves to tell the story he loves telling the story now, this one can be substituted to, I enjoy to work. Now, this one, guys, you need to use an, a gerund, okay? With that one, guys, um, well, in this type of scenario, guys, you need to use a gerund because otherwise the, the meaning would change, all right? I hate cleaning the house. It's the same, you know, they love listening to pop music, you know? You can use both, guys, okay? All right. So, uh, Ernesto Peñate, what does it say here? Okay, we can use gerunds as a singular noun, so it can be the object of the sentence. All right, thank you, thank you, Ernesto. So we don't need anything else, guys. All right, that's 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 what it means. Okay, so we don't need a complement after using the gerund sometimes, you know. So I have some exercises for you here, guys. All right. So what you're going to do is that you're going to identify if you know if these are gerunds or uh, if these are present participles or um, if this, well, actually that's it guys. Okay. If these are gerunds or present participles. Okay. How do you, how do you identify them? Como lo identificas? Como sabes que es un present participle and a gerund? Gerund is possible, is possible to substitute for a, a other noun. Exactly. Okay, all right, so it is it, it's possible guys to, to substitute a gerund with another noun, okay? So that is the difference guys, all right? Very good. So I'm gonna create the breakout sessions guys. I'm gonna send the image over to the WhatsApp group and then you start working on it, on it okay? Let's go guys. Let's go. Ricardo, all right man. Um, so I'm sending someone over here. There you go. Oh, the camera came back up almost. Oh, well, we did it. Jeez. All right, let's go, guys. All right. So uh, I'm sending the image over to the WhatsApp group right now, guys. Do you have any questions on what we're going to do? Ricardo, you have the, the your phone? Or, because I don't have the whole mind. Uh, okay. 
So we are going to do what we are going to do. All right. So I sent I sent uh, I sent the uh, the the screenshot to the WhatsApp group, yes, right? So let's get started. The, the third cooking is my hobby. It's a Jaron. Jaron, uh huh. Jaron. Smoking is bad for your health. It's the same. Uh huh. Jaron. Uh huh. Jaron, do you enjoy? Do you enjoy yeah. swimming? What is the what is the 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 structure? The structure present continue of oh. the structure is subject, bear, uh, object in general plus object. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. In this case is um, for me general because you can substitute the the word swimming by order noun. There you go. Good job, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. It's a Jaron. Mm -hmm. Cooking is my hobby. Okay, number four. Smoking is bad for your health. Smoking is bad for your health. For me, it's Darren. Smoking is bad for my health. Yes. Because it's the, the subject. Uh huh. The subject, right. Number five. Do you enjoy swimming? Um, I consider that this uh, as a uh, germ, uh, as a uh, as object. It's still a like germ. Yes, for me too. Doing how homework is boring is germ. Geo, geo. What's the mean? Do you catch David? Number six. Baby? I'm sorry, what are you asking? Yeah, yes, I, I, don't know, I don't know what, what I mean. Geo, geo cut. Geo coaching. Do you got what? And number six. Number six. Geo coaching. Geo. Let me check. Uh, geo cat. You catching can be dangerous. What's mean you catching? Geo catching is basically um, it's a it's an outdoor recreational activity. Like outdoor means that you go outside, you know. Uh, so uh, you use a you use a GPS uh -huh. um, to hide and seek containers, and those are called. Um, uh, you, uh, geocache, right? Or geocaches, right? Mm. Um, so it's like it's like playing, you know, hide and seek or like finding treasure. Right. In this case, is it Jerem? I don't know. You tell me. You guys are doing the exercise. I think. I right. think because I, I, don't know. I say Chayanne can be dangerous. All right. I don't know. You tell me, right? Good job. <laughs> Yeah, I see that. Teacher. Teacher, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, no. We no. we got a, a little confused. We are finding out if it is a gerund or a present particle, right? Exactly. Okay, for us, number one, dancing is a great fun. It's gerund because dancing can be Replace it by Chayanne, right? Okay, yes. I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> if, it, yes, it, if it can be replaced yes, it by Jaron. If it can be replaced by, by Jaron, guys, of course it is. 
right? Mm -hmm. So yes. Okay. We are on number ten. What he really likes is going by bike. That is present, present, right? Yes. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Also, one thing that I forgot mentioning is that identify if it is if it is you know functioning as a, as an object or object of the sentence. Okay. All right. So a, is the gerund working as an object or an ob or a subject? Okay. Subject and number one is subject. All right. Well, you identify it. Okay. All right. Guys, let's add one more thing on top of that. All right. Identify if this gerund is working as the subject over the object of the sentence too. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Okay, so let's, let's, let's add something else on top of this. Okay. Identify if the gerund is working as the object or the subject of the sentence too. Okay. 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 Right. Very good. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think that you had a question. Guys, I wanted to. I wanted to mention. <laughs> I, please identify if the gerund is working as the subject and the object of the sentence too, okay? Yes, but in the question, do you enjoy swimming? But the exercise is different, different, different uh, between gerund uh, or present participle. Yes. I understand, uh, I understood. But in the number five, do you enjoy swimming? For me, it's present participle. Okay. Now, aside from that, well, it that that will depend. Okay, I'll explain to you. I'll explain it to all to everybody. Okay, but also, I is that remember if it can work as the object of the sentence, it is it is a gerund, right? So, is that the object of the sentence? Do you think would you consider that's that's the object of the sentence? Sorry, teacher, no, I can't hear you very well. Do you do you consider that could be the object of a sentence? Considera que podría ser the object, el objeto de una oración? Yes or no? Because, because the gerund is a verb that function or now referring to an action, a process, or a state. So it can work, right? It can work either as a, as a, as a, as a subject or it can work as an object of a sentence, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I needed to identify too, you know, if it is working as a subject or an object. Do you think that in that, you know, specific example, it is working as as, as the subject or the object of a sentence? To use the subject. And... The subject, no. no. Okay. The, the, the object. All right. It is working as the object of the sentence. If it is working as the object of the sentence, then what is it? Is it a, is it a... Gerund. Gerund or not? Yes, it is, right? It is a gerund, guys, okay? Yes, exactly. a gerund. All right, very good. A gerund, okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. And in my favorite activity is using my smartphone. Now you well I I it's, go ahead try to identify that. Mm -hmm. What do you think? For me, it's present participle. All right, we'll see that. Okay, we're gonna go back now. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I was muted. All right. Hey, my camera is working. Great. So, anyways, hey. Um. So, guys, let me ask you something. If you finished, could you please tell me, guys, if all of those sentences uh, worked as either subjects or objects? Can they all work, guys? Were, were, were all those uh, verbs in ING, guys, working either as a subject or an object? Yes or no? No. 
Some ones works uh, subject and others like uh, some of them. Objects. Just some of them. Okay. Some of them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Eight. All right. So um, very good, very good. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the screen right now, guys. Okay. Hold your horses. I need to tell you something. Hold on. So here is the, I have a surprise for you guys, okay? But you are gonna answer your question, well, this question yourself, okay? Can I say, can I say Cheyenne here? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. So yes. what is that? Is that a subject or object or what is it? Geron. Uh, it's a subject, so subject. yes, ah, it is a gerund, right. right? So it is a, a gerund. Good job, okay. Good job, very good. Uh, she hates going out at night. Going out at night. Can I say Cheyenne here? No. Yes. No. Yes. Can I not say she yes. hates Cheyenne? Yes, yes. yes. right. Yes. 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 Very good. It's so. Okay. All right. So it's working as an object because you can say Cheyenne, right? Cooking yes. is my hobby. Cheyenne is my hobby. Can I so? Subject or object? Yes. yes okay. Okay. Right. All right. Very good. So, Jaron, yes or no? Yes. Yes. All right. Can I say Cheyenne is bad for your health? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 You can. Yes. So, object so, or object or object? I mean, subject or object. object. All right. Subject. subject. Okay. Subject. Do you subject. enjoy? All right. Do you enjoy Cheyenne? <laughs> yes. Yes, I right, enjoy so, it. Yes. So it's an uh, object, right? So, right, Jaron, yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Right. Object. Geo, geocaching, right? Look that up on Google, guys. I don't want to explain it to you because that's complicated, right? But geocaching, guys, is just a treasure hunting activity. Okay. Anyways, so can I say Cheyenne can be dangerous? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So yes. it can work as a subject, right? Right. Yes. So it is a Jaron. Mm -hmm. Doing my homework, okay. Doing homework, okay. Doing homework is boring. Cheyenne is boring. Can I say that? Yeah. No, yeah. because Cheyenne is never boring. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> yes, you can say, all right, so you can work as the subject, guys, okay? All right, so it is a Jaren, okay? Do, do your homework, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite acti my favorite activity is, is uh, using my smartphone. Can I say my favorite activity is Cheyenne? <laughs> Yes, no. okay, so the same thing goes with why don't you like riding asses? Why don't you like Cheyenne? What they, what he really likes is going by bike, you know, Cheyenne, right? Guys, they are old gerunds because they can both work as either subjects or objects, okay? Got it? Got it, guys? Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes. Because you can, oh, all, you can substitute them all with Cheyenne, okay? Yes, tell me. Uh, why the last one uh, is he really likes uh, what he really likes is going by bike it says what he really likes is going by bike i'm sorry bike like this so can you substitute this with you know what yes or no can I say what he really likes is Cheyenne? Yes, but no, I mean, the, why, why the, the verb is, uh, is correct that after likes. That, that, that was... Because this is, working as a, this is working as a linking verb, okay? Because it links two ideas, okay? Okay? Está, está, está funcionando como un puente, right? It's called linking verb, right? The two ideas is this, what he really likes which is, by the way, guys, this is a relative, right, clause, remember? We're not relative clause, right? And going by bike, okay, this is another clause, right? Because this is working as a subject, right? And in the, the other clause, right, it's working as a subject, okay? Anyways, but the reason why is because, uh, Francisco, after the verb is, you can use a noun, okay? Después del verbo is, puedes usar un sustantivo. O un objeto, right? En este caso, este es el objeto de la oración. Got it? Por eso lo puedes sustituir por Chayanne. Okay? Entonces, this is like saying, you know, what he really likes is Chayanne. See? 
is 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 using is is being used as a linking verb to describe the object. Got it? Got it. All right, very good. Anyways, guys, I have another class right now. I need to leave you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye. See you guys.